people use the word theory in all sorts of different ways. To a physicist, theory means a very particular set of ideas. It really means using mathematics to decode the hidden subtext of nature. When we look around us, we see a bewildering array of natural phenomena. We don't see equations. You have to dig to a deeper level to extract those equations. Uh, and so the mathematics that underpins the phenomena of nature is like this hidden subtext. Uh, and the job of the theoretical physicist is to uncover that mathematical order that exists in nature, write it down in, in terms of mathematical equations, and then go on uh, an intellectual voyage of discovery by manipulating those equations, solving them, going on to make predictions. Uh, there's no other science that does this. There is no theoretical biology. I'm sure your Francisco will agree in quite the same sense. Uh, there's, there's no um, even really theoretical chemistry. It's what physicists would call phenomenology. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is that uh, this is a, a window on the world uh, that uh, seems to be at the, this particular time unique to, to physics. And so by uh, uncovering this hidden mathematical order in nature, we glimpse something about reality which can't be obtained in, in any other way. About reality, is it a theory that there is a mathematical order to nature? Well, it's an act, I call, often say it's an act of faith, and my colleagues jump on me. They say, ah, oh, it's not you know, faith. Uh, but I'm using it in the sense of uh, being faithful. I think you cannot be a physicist without being faithful to the idea that there is a law-like order in nature. But as Popper uh, would say, it's a, a hypothesis, a theory, that there is an order. We can relax that a little bit, but I think you just wouldn't go about practicing physics if you didn't sort of deep in yourself really believe that it is the case, that there is a law-like order in nature. It would be a rather pointless exercise. And let, let me give you a classic example, the Large Hadron Collider. We heard a lot about that. When this was being uh, built, uh, it wasn't on the assumption, well, we'll build this thing and uh, we, we'll collide these particles together and it may be total meaningless nonsense that we will get out of it. There is this faith or belief or assumption that uh, the deeper we dig into nature, the more law-like order we will expose. So there is uh, this organization of things that will be dug out. Does this picture of order that you get, does it give you a sense of meaning, a, a sense of security to believe? So the psychologists yes. will say that we need a meaning system or we scatter. And this gets very biologist here at this point. They say to survive, we are creatures who have evolved this habit to see order so that we can right. keep our act together. You see, I think that's, that's a, a load of uh, a bunkum. Um, <laughs> I, you see, pe people will often say that we're just reading the order into nature, we're not reading it out of nature, that we just, it's convenient to uh, organize our thoughts and our observations around these equations and so on. I just think that's not true. Um, it is simply the case that, for example, uh, there is an inverse square law of gravitation, which means that the gravitational force that a planet feels twice as far from the sun is one quarter. Uh, it's simply a fact about the world. Uh, and I don't think this is, is a sociological phenomenon. I think it's simply true that there is a law-like order in nature and that the, in, in being a physicist, your job is to uncover that law-like, a really existing law-like order. We don't project it onto nature, we read it out of nature.